All right, so now we're gonna talk about the fibrous carbohydrates, AKA the vegetables, or I like to say your best friends in the fat loss world. Remember we're talking about the ultimate metabolic boost. So all of these eating tips are really about push the metabolism, or I like to call it metabolic jolting. I have all these little key phrases. Anyway, these foods take your body more to digest so it burns calories in digestion than are actually in the foods themselves. So really all good. of these, I have to put a bikini on for a photo shoot. This is what I'm eating because it's guaranteed to get me there, but I'm not that perfect. Don't, don't kid yourself. Popcorn, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to eat. And in my house, this is air pop popcorn. You could eat an entire bowl for probably the equivalent of that many nuts. You're still saving fat, by the way. But I will get this for a movie night, air popped. We all eat out of a big bowl. I also always have microwave pop for you. Another little tidbit to have, always have some chewing gum with you. So if you've really already eaten everything you're supposed to, chewing gum really satisfies, it cleans your teeth. If it's spearmint, it almost shuts off your little sugar craving, believe it or not. So have some sugarless gum, get 17 different varieties, always have it on your person, get everything available and try to always default to this. Another one of my favorites is a Tootsie Roll Pop. I like to bring these to their way in. Um, this really important little section here, black and white cookie. When you're making out your food journal, you can't say I had one cookie. This black and white cookie, which a lot of people get in trouble on on train rides for some reason, 600 calories. So even if you broke that into three pieces with your mother and your sister, you still had too many calories. That was 200. Imagine how small that square is. The problem for me and most people is the second you take a bite of that piece of cookie, or the sugar, you now have woke up your sweet tooth and it's gonna start fighting with you the rest of the day. Don't wake it up is my suggestion. What you find is you feel so much better eating clean that when you go to eat this, you're so sick you couldn't possibly do it again. So I'm sorry, I don't make these rules. Today I'm gonna to show you some cutting edge eating tricks for the ultimate metabolic boost. We're talking about burning body fat, getting this stuff off of our bodies, and preserving the muscle. So basically we're gonna feed the muscle and we're gonna starve the fat. I want you to erase anything you've ever heard or learned in the past. I had to do that. I had to reboot myself and completely start anew because all my old beliefs were getting me in trouble. So I want you to cleanse everything, start anew, get a notebook, you might wanna write this down. And I'm gonna teach you the science behind getting your body to burn fat for fuel. So what if I was to tell you that you could have have him grind it up for you to make your turkey meatballs or turkey meatloafs. Believe me, I eat all of that. But it all needs to be very lean. People, the biggest problem in weight loss today is that we assume things are lean. You cannot assume anything. Look your numbers up. There's multiple books so you could see really how much fat is in it. Because who would ever think that you could eat all of this food for one one steak calorically, and that's a 1,200 calorie steak. So say you eat perfectly all week, and you go, I don't know why the scale didn't move. Trust me, there's always a reason. I fell into that trap. That 1,200 calorie steak, the law of averages. Bigger thumb, therefore you can eat more bananas. Four inches is a serving. So if you eat one banana, this is tiny. That's two fruits right there, and bananas really jack your blood sugar levels up. In the gym, I see a lot of people try to start eating healthy. They say, I had a banana on the way into the gym. Jacks their blood sugar levels up, they exercise and they plummet down and they get very sick when they're training. That's why the protein shake is so good for your body. Another few mistakes that I see people make are um, when you're eating